Hey, so I'm going to teach you three things in this tutorial. Um, changing the character movement to a custom character movement as seen here. Um, that way you don't have to run a cast tube because they end up being very expensive. So you can just pull off of here, get your movement component and use its particular functions. Um, how to alter a marketplace plugin, which is what we're going to do with the ninja character plugin and a few optimizations for the Ninja Character pl plugin. So we're going to close this. We're going to go here. And we're going to make a new project for 4.26. Um, but before you make a new one in the installed engine plugins, you note that um, I don't have the Ninja Character installed. Uh, what I did is I installed it, I went to my marketplace. So this is the path that I'm using or where my Epic Games saves Unreal Engine. Um, you see that under plugins marketplace, there's the Ninja character. Um, however, it's uninstalled, so it only has the intermedi intermediate uh, file. Um, so I actually saved the unaltered version to my plugins in Untitled Gravity game. So I'm going to show you from scratch and then I'm going to basically copy and paste this into our new project. Yep. I'm going to make this. Oh, we're going to launch this, sorry. I'm going to select game, go to next, blank, select C++. I'm just going to name this Ninja and create our project. So I'm going to come back when the project is loaded up. OK, so our project has loaded up. As we can see, there is no plugins folder. Um, if we go to plugins installed, there is no ninja character. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to ninja character, the untitled gravity game where I have everything. Um, you're going to want to copy and paste um, the ninja character out of it and then place it in a folder called plugins. So I'm just going to control C that and we're going to go to ninja and we're just going to copy and paste it in. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Uh, and then what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to delete the binaries and the intermediate. And that's because we're going to relaunch our project, but after running a refresh of our Visual Studio project, and then we'll reopen it and hopefully that will then populate this with the plugin. Okay, so let's see, it reloaded. We now have the plugins, or we can see it does not show. So we're gonna close this. I'm going to go back to our pick launcher and we're going to find Ninja and reopen. It's going to prompt you with missing modules. You're going to rebuild them. Yes. And this is how you get to alter marketplace plugins. And then once this is done, I'll come back. Okay. So we're back in the project. Uh, we're going to update the project file. There we go. It's good. And then we are going to open here and we're going to change four files. So let's go into the private. We're going to change the character itself. So this is the custom character and the custom character's movement component. And we're also going to change their respective headers. So the code we're going to change it to. We're going to do movement components first. Very simple. Um, we're going to change this from generated body to generated U class body. And we're going to comment out the constructor. However, you're going to want to leave the constructor as is. So we go here. I'm going to type that. And let's comment that out. 
So that's it for the movement component. Then for the ninja character, what we're going to want to do is first, you're going to want to do forward declaration, declaration, sorry, um, of the movement component, the ninja character. So just going to copy and paste this right there. And then um, it doesn't really matter where you put this. I'm going to put it near, or I put it in the other one, which I believe was right here. Here it is. Okay, so I made it private. Um, in all hindsight, it should probably be protected. Uh, that way, if you inherit from this class, you can alter this. So we will copy that. And we will paste it there. So going to name it ninja movement component. That's fine. And then here's where the bulk of the work comes into play. We're going to go to our character in the constructor, right? We are going to initialize the ninja movement component with a cast to getting the character's movement component. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> and then here, we're going to look for the function get movement component, I believe. Here. So we're going to go to definition. And instead of having this cast to, what we're going to do is we're going to type ninja movement component. And then anywhere that we see this cast to, because cast is very expensive, um, we're just going to comment it out as seen below. And then that is going to start giving us errors and we're just going to replace all movement components with ninja movement components. So I will be back when I have done all of that. Note, I haven't finished it yet, but if you want to quickly find all the movement components, you can hit Control F, type it in as such with a capital M and C, and click on K, um, match case and match whole word, and that will find all of examples. Okay, so we have removed all movement components and cast twos. Um, so now we need to compile. And this won't be done yet. We'll actually need to relaunch one more time. Because if we go to the blueprints, we open the ninja player character blueprint. Uh, we still have character movement as the default script here. So we want to close that blueprint. I found that if you leave it open between um, relaunches, it just it doesn't work for some odd reason. It still thinks that the movement component exists, or it doesn't re doesn't overwrite the movement component. So we're gonna relaunch this. Okay, so it's relaunched. Let's go into the character blueprint. And there we are. The movement component is now the ninja movement component. And here we can drag off and then we can do set gravity, I believe is the name. I believe it's set fixed gravity direction. Yes, I think this is it, right? Don't mind this. This is uh, me trying to figure out smooth camera rotations seem oh it's set gravity direction but we can just 
Copy that. Paste. And we can just plug in. Because it's of the correct movement type. So you're probably curious, like, uh, the uh, smooth camera. Well, here is another change. This one is 4.25, so I haven't updated this to 4.26. However, go full screen. This one, not currently set correctly. Sorry about that. Ah, yes. So we're going to do 1 divided by 30. So this is the um, seconds between updates. And then we are going to say how how many seconds uh, to completion that it should take for the smooth camera. Okay. So here, camera smooth. Nice. Um, only problem with this is if I move the camera so now the spring arm has an offset, as soon as I move, it rotates it back to um, looking directly at the character. But I'm going to work on that. Hopefully I get that working. Um, hopefully X, I don't actually know how to pronounce the creator of this plugin's name, so I'm just going to refer to him as X. Uh, hopefully makes a github and i can just push changes or make pull requests stuff like that um but here you can run and it's pretty smooth i think i set the running to 25 meters per second so you can even set this to 100 meters per second and it still stays um relatively smooth and this allows for like low poly changes um between um, I guess shapes. So there's just also the problem where if you go too fast, uh, the camera goes under him. But for the most part, it it works pretty well. It's just not the best. So I hope to uh, fix this and maybe create a spring arm that does what this should do. But um, hey, it's smooth and it makes you tripped out or it trips you out. But yeah, that's uh, the tutorial. Thanks for watching.